open the goddamn door! You can't keep us in here! <coughs> open up! I will tear you fuckers you apart with my bang. bare hands! We gotta find another way out of here! <coughs> you dead <coughs> fucking bastards! <coughs> open this door, goddammit! I will knock the we goddamn got door it down! Stopped. It was a person. They tried to make us eat a person. But you didn't do it. No. The rest of us did, goddammit! If you hadn't dragged your feet... Come on, Dad. Now's not the time. That evil fucker invited me to eat the meat. And all the time, he knew what it was. Stay calm, Dad. We'll deal with it later. You okay, Clementine? They... They didn't hurt you, did they? Mm -mm. Open up! Lee, those psychos have my family, and we're stuck in a damn meat locker! We gotta get the fuck out of here! This goddamn thumb sucker was the one who brought us here! Will you all just shut the fuck up? I'm scared. Don't be. It's gonna be okay. I'm gonna find us a way out of here. You're, you're worse than the walkers! Dad, please! They got caught you in duck, Lee! Those fuckers have my family! I know! We're gonna get out of here and find them! Please settle down! Oh, I'll rip your goddamn heads up! And, and make you swallow them! Meat. Uh, I don't wanna know what kind. Come on! Show yourself! Our cowards! Yeah. The shelves are pretty sturdy. We could climb up. Uh, but there's no way out through the ceiling. There's Marlis on the way! Let us... Your dad's not making things any easier for us. Open the fucking Dad, door! Dad, stop! God damn it! They're not gonna open the door! Come on, Larry. Do you really want to attract their attention? Yeah, I want to attract their attention. So I can fucking kill them! Guess your new girlfriend wasn't all she was cracked up to be. What the hell is your problem? You refused to give me my day's rations back at the motor lodge. And you practically fucking push my face into that goddamn human barbecue? You must really hate me. But guess what? You're stuck with me. I plan to be around long after you're gone. And if you turn, I'll be the one to put the axe through your skull. Dad! No, you're not worth the energy to hate. Don't forget, I know who you really are. Dad, this isn't helping! Hey, Brent, bastards. I'll, I'll break that damn door down! Dad, you can't get... Uh, uh, Easy! Uh, oh, God. Dad? No. Dad, come on! Dad! Oh, God. He stopped breathing. I think he's had a heart attack. Shit. Is he dead? He's not dead! Somebody help me! Fuck. If he's dead... He's not dead! What has to happen, Lee? Think about it. You saw that poor bastard at the motel? How fast he turned? What are you saying? Lily, I'm sorry. I truly, truly am. But in a few minutes, we're gonna be stuck in a locked room with a six-foot-four, 300-pound, seriously pissed-off dead guy. Fuck you! We can bring him back! Lee! We'll mourn him later. But right now, we have to keep him from coming back. No! God damn it, Kenny! He is not dead! We can't kill him if he's not dead, Kenny. You remember how hard it was for you to get that monster off of Katya? And Larry's twice his size. It's him or us. Look, Kenny, back at the drugstore when we all thought Duck was bitten. I gave him the benefit of the doubt. Maybe we should do the same now. That was different. Duck wasn't bitten. But come on! We know this guy's not gonna make it. Remember what Ben said. Gotta destroy the brain. Come on, Lee. You can't be in the middle on this one. You gotta have my back this time. God damn it, Lee. I need you! Please help me! Come on, Dad. Come on. Wake up. Wake up! Lee! Is he breathing at all? No! No, I don't think so! Okay, let me take over. Keep checking his pulse. Are you stupid? He's gonna turn! What? You're putting all of us at Freeze. risk, you son of a bitch! Freeze! You're fucking worthless, Lee. Five!
Kenny! I'm sorry. What the fuck? I'm so sorry. I just... It had to be done. You don't know that! Yes, I do, Lee. And so do you. I was counting on you, man. I'm sorry. I know. Don't you fucking touch me! <laughs> Are you okay? Is it over? Not yet. We still have to find a way out of here. Shh. I know. I know. But you gotta be strong right now. I need you to be strong. Think about something else. Something hopeful. Like what? How about your walkie-talkie? Those pretend talks with your mom and dad, don't those make you feel better? Sometimes. We're gonna get out, right? You found a way out? I'm working on it. He was still alive, Lee. He was still alive. Kenny, he made a bad call. It was premature for sure, but he was trying to keep us safe. Bullshit. He cares about keeping his family safe. He doesn't give a shit about you and he me. He puts his family first, sure. Just like Larry did. I'm sorry, Lily. I know it was necessary, but I just wish Clem didn't have to witness shit like this. I worry what it's gonna do to her. I don't want to hear it, Lee. You think I like doing what I did? I'm the guy who couldn't bear to watch the family dog get put down. But if we want to survive this shit, we gotta have the balls to do the hard thing. Or at least one of us has got to. You talk a big game. But could you do the hard thing if it was Katja or Dust? It's never gonna come to that. Not if I have anything to do with it. For all we know, the St. John's might have... No! They, they need Katja, remember? Well, she's the whole reason they brought us here. And no doubt they're using Duck as a bargaining chip. I hope you're right. I know I'm right. I just gotta get to him. That's all. Please. I need to be alone. God knows you deserve time to grieve, Lily. There ought to be an air duct behind this unit. Maybe big enough for one of us to fit through. Does the air conditioner come off? I think I could take it off if I had something to remove the screws. The multi-tool. Of course they took it. Shit. Maybe there's something else we could use. I've got a rock. Ah, a rock won't help. But a coin might do the trick. Do you have a coin? Uh-uh. Listen, I need a coin or something. It's important. It could get us out of here. Well, I got nothing. Please. I need to be alone. God knows you deserve time to grieve, Lily. But if we're gonna get out of here, we need your help. And Larry's. I think I may have found a way out of here. But I need something to remove the screws on the air conditioner. If you had something I could use as a screwdriver, a coin or something... No. What about him? Look, I know this is a terrible time for it, but uh, back at the motor inn, Larry... Larry mentioned something about keeping coins in his pockets. What do you want? My blessing to loot his corpse? Your permission. <sighs> do what you have to do. idea which pocket he keeps his change in? A 
ring. My mother's. Don't worry. I'm not taking it. Huh. He still carried his wallet. Here we go. Two quarters. And a dime. that way. Hurry the fuck up, Lee. We don't have all day here. Well, there's our way out, Lee. Like it'll probably lead right into that back room. It's too small for us to fit through. I can do it. I know you're brave enough. I'm scared. Remember the treehouse? You held out for days. And I saved your life. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <sighs> okay. You're gonna be fine. What do I do when I get out? See if you can get to the other side of that door and open it. <laughs> 